Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, Stephen Clark and friends here. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, no matter where you are. So what have we got today? The Bangkok ladies underpants snatcher has been apprehended in Bangkok. A Bangkok sex investigation? They're making pornos at the university. Yeah, well, whatever. A wonderful story about a girl making a rice straw and virtually putting the plastic bag out of business. This could really take off in Thailand and make Thailand a lot of money. Another weekly high-speed crash, this time eight British tourists injured. A man decides to go on a shooting spree in Thailand. He was later apprehended a few days later and found it to be a school teacher and did it because he was bored. But we'll cover that in another bulletin. But first up, the Bangkok ladies underpants pincher. This is an interesting story. Bangkok police tracked down the great Bangkok panty snatcher. One man been busy moving around Bangkok, condos and apartments in the northern suburbs and sampling a range of women's underwear and lingerie. But the police have curtailed his part-time activities and arrested a 55-year-old man charged him with stealing more than 1,400 pieces of women's underwear. He was arrested at a condominium in Bangkok's Dong Myong district. Police had many complaints coming from the area. Female residents in the local area where the suspect lived of disappearing a lingerie. So the police decided to check out a CCT footage from the local area. While he got caught in the act anyway, they were able to arrest the thief in the act as he was snatching three items of underpants from a neighbor's veranda. When they searched his room, police found three boxes overflowing with women's underpants. The smell of women's underwear made me happy. And I thought I was the only one that thought that. If he goes to jail, he's gonna have a hard time explaining this to the inmates. 1,400 pieces of women's underpants he's stolen? They're gonna change his name to legend. Our next story will be police arrested for sniffing evidence. <laughs> Johnny Siam reporting Bangkok The scene of a lewd act At the Bangkok University Tennis courts Up to 40 police Are investigating The reported incident Of a sexual act Which had been committed On the campus After the officers Spent many hours Viewing CCTV footage. They had found that this, in fact, was a group of people making videos of a pornographic nature. With a task force of up to 40 officers now looking for this group that have posted online their sexual prowess in many, many different public places. So I think this is going to be an ongoing story, but I'm sure with 40 officers on the case, they will come to conclusion very shortly. Johnny out. Yeah, thanks for that, Johnny. I will be hunting around the internet myself, looking around for any evidence of these porno movies. <laughs> Johnny Siam reporting. Lumpung. As we know, the Chiang Mai Valley, at the end of the rice season, with the burning off of the straw, creates a large problem for the environment with the smoke, the particulate matter, and generally makes life a little bit unbearable. Thanks to a young Thai lady, Yapawan Kamalwan, who studied at Bangkok University, has come up with an idea to turn the straw into money. At the normal harvest rate, there's one kilogram of straw to one kilogram of rice. With a purchase price of three baht a kilogram, she takes the rice straw to her factory, which she then, with no chemicals, 
cuts the rice straw up into small pieces and it's boiled, then it's dried. And at this stage, for the N cellulose type product, no one in Thailand uh, has the ability or wants to go that one step further. So at this stage, she is exporting it to India. Where in India, it is made into biodegradable packaging containers for takeaway food. With the method, there is a rice starch within the, the product, which gives it good ability to hold even things like papaya salad for up to four hours, which is actually incredible. So she has also approached the University of Chiang Mai Science and Technology Department and they have a, part, a section that helps Thai startup. So they are helping her to gain her vision of manufacturing packaging from this straw. It gives the straw a biodegradable ongoing usable uh, end instead of going up in smoke. It also in her small factory when the harvest is over, it gives the local people an extra income, not only from the rice, but lots work in her factory. With consultation with vendors, food vendors, and also the Thai government having a ban on plastics, she will go far as an environmental solution and cost efficient solution to the whole thing. So Thailand needs to be proud of her and the world needs to stand back and take a little bit of notice. This young girl, through her own initiative, because she started this project up with an idea, cooking up the rice straw, her grandmother's cook pots, and now she is starting to realise her dream. Johnny out. Hello there, if you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like. It helps us out a hell of a lot, be most appreciated. And now back to the video. The carnage on Thailand's roads, when will it all end? These minibuses are involved in so many accidents and so many people are dying. And really, for what? Accidents are happening on a weekly basis with these small buses. Yet again, a passenger bus is involved in an accident and this time it's on video. It happened in the Pattaya area where eight British tourists were travelling from Serenapum Airport to Pattaya for a group holiday they had booked, which unfortunately was to begin in tragedy. And now eight British tourists are in hospital and three of those eight passengers are in a serious condition. The high speed crash scattered contents from the van all over the road, all over the medium strip and scattered passengers all over the road. According to Thai law, all passengers in the rear of these vans must be wearing seatbelts, which way they were not doing. This is why you can see some of the passengers being thrown across the road from the impact. The accident was caused through the back rear tyre exploding, or blowing out as they call it, and the driver losing control of the van. The driver has stated that's what caused the accident. Whether he was overloaded or using excessive speed was anybody's guess. But now there are eight British tourists in hospital and three in critical condition. The Pattaya Freeway is a very, very good freeway to drive on. As you can see the van coming around the corner now, you can see part of the tyre blowing away or giving way. And now the van loses control and throws all the passengers all over the road. Thank God there was no one beside this van, they would have been all dead. And it doesn't look like they were wearing seatbelts. Very lucky to be alive, a lot of them. Lapri Province in Central Thailand, just outside of the Bangkok area. Bangkok, Thailand. A gunman started a shooting spree that killed three people, including a two-year-old boy in a jewellery store robbery at a shopping mall in Lapri Province, 8.45 p.m. at night, just before it closed. A closed circuit television, a CCTV footage, shows the gunman clad in black shirt and camouflage pants, carrying a handgun with a long sound suppressor or silencer if you like, entering the shopping mall. Shocking CCT footage shows the attacker storming into the shop without saying a word, opened fire on the victims and jumped up on the counter while his victims were in agony on the ground. Before running off with a jewellery worth about 630,000 Thai baht, the robber opened fire and shot randomly at staff, shoppers in the shop and leaving a security guard and a shop assistant dead on the spot. The two-year-old boy who was walking with his family members near the shop suffered gunshot wounds 
to the head. He died in hospital from his injuries. Four local shoppers, including two women aged between 22 and 44, are reported to be in a critical condition. After the robbery, the gunman shot and killed a security guard before escaping on a motorbike. Deputy National Police Chief said the police are offering a reward of 100,000 Thai baht to those with information leading to the arrest of the suspect. On a side note, police are trying to ascertain why the gunman would go into a jewellery shop and kill so many people for such a small amount of money. Perhaps a more sinister act was at hand. Two of the wounded were husband and wife who were browsing gold jewellery with their daughter when the gunman strolled into the shop. The couple are reported to be prominent business people in the province. They both underwent surgery and were still recovering this morning. Their daughter escaped unharmed. Thai Prime Minister Priyat has offered his condolences to the victim's family and condemned the gunman for killing the young two-year-old boy, saying such an act was deplorable. Social media has also roundly condemned the robbery, claiming that the death penalty was the best punishment for such a heinous crime. There has also been speculation online that the actions and attire of the assailant gave the appearance of an army-trained soldier. He was clearly trained in the use of his weapon. The Crime Suppression Division say they are now getting more information on the victim's business and personal profiles to try and uncover any possible motive for the crime. Police have their suspicions of the true motive.